What's going on guys and welcome to another Metal Gaming Nerd video. I'm Six and welcome to the video. Uh, today we're just going to get into um, Azerite Talents for part two of the Resto Druid rating series that I'm doing here. I have a feeling it's going to be more than three parts that I originally said it was going to be, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out at the end. But before we jump into it, I'm sure some of you guys are asking, why should I listen to this guy? What does he know? Um, so a little bit of a background on me. I've played Resto Druid. Sorry, I've played Druid since Mr. Pandaria, and I Resto Druid healed all through Legion, ahead of the curve as a heroic raider, heroic raid leader, and um, assistant guild master for a guild that I founded. We ended up getting top 100 on the server that we were playing on for... Uh, the, the later part of Legion. Um, I've also done a lot of PvP, uh, 2k rated PvP for RBGs, and when it comes to arenas, I just play around in it. It's not something that I've um, gotten past Challenger for before they made Challenger really, really easy. Um, that's a little bit of a background on me, but let's, uh, let's just get into the video and talk about the Azerite traits that you should be running or I believe that you should be running um, while progressing raiding in the new raid that just came out, um, Nihiloth of the Waking City. Hope you guys enjoy. Now for your first big Azerite trait, you're gonna want to get Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves is a very, very strong um, trait to be running as a Resto Druid, and I would say it's one of your most important traits to be running. Um, it coincides with one of your most used ability, Rejuvenation, and it makes Rejuvenation sit on your target longer, and it will heal, um, heal more. It's an amazing talent, it works amazing with the, re the rotation and the talent setup that I explained to you guys in the, in the last video. If you guys didn't watch the last video, I'll post a link down in the description section below. And I highly recommend watching that one before watching this one. Your next talent that I would focus on getting is probably a preference as the right trait for me. Um, if you look on all of the other websites, they kind of have it as a B tier trait. But I love the trait. It, uh, it heals a lot and... The trait that I would be going for is Waking Dream. It affects your Yazura's Gift and your Rejuvenation, so it's putting out more healing, and that's a passive effect, so it's something that's always putting out heals, something that um, you never really need to worry about, but uh, this trait makes it stronger and gives it more heals for every Rejuvenation you have out there. The last major Azerite trait that I would heavily focus on would have to be Lively Spirit. Lively Spirit is a buff to your inner bait that will give you intellect buff based on how many spells you cast when your inner bait is on either you or another healer in your party. Um, it also gives you back mana. Um, great trait and uh, it's amazing for pro progressing rating and using this trait in my opinion definitely teaches someone who's learning how to play resto um, when to use their inner rate and it also reminds them to use their inner rate i find um, i actually had to teach myself how to use my inner rate and remind myself to keep constantly using it it's actually something that i actively focus on trying to make sure that i'm executing my inner rates as much as possible now, you may be sitting here wondering, Six, man, you've only gone over three talents, Azerite traits. What about all the other ones? Now, what I've found with the rest of Druid is all of the other ones is use as needed or whatever fits your play style. My recommendations for a couple choices are both, one of them you can stack and one of them you might as well only run one of them. So the first one that I would recommend would definitely be Rampant Growth. Rampant Growth uh, heals more and it also applies a, its healing effects, heal over time effects 
to the target of your life bloom. So it's probably going to be the active tank or maybe somebody that's taking a lot of damage. And another choice, amazing choice. I love running this. It's an amazing choice for Mythic Plus PvP. And as a oh my god healer or a clutch healer as some people like to call it, Grove Tending is an amazing heal. And it also, so what it does is it applies a hot to the target and it's amazing i love it i actually love it now you can run multiples of these the healing that the hot provides will be increased but the duration is not increased if you're wondering why some of the numbers might be a little bit different that could be because there is a difference in item level from the gear that i'm wearing or the gear that i got the tooltips from and your gear a great place to check that out is the wowhead website they've got their own little slider um, where you can search for talent or whatever and uh, it's all done by item levels so you guys can find the right stats for the right item level um, but this is all this gear that i'm wearing that's where i got the tool tips from i am not affiliated or partnered with them in any way i just use their website and uh, I just figured I'd give you guys that information. When it comes to any other traits, it's all based on preference. I recommend going for things that will increase your healing and will be defensive cooldowns like the resounding protection the and the bark skin one. Those are my recommendations. You don't have to listen to me. This is all solely my opinion on what I've experienced in World of Warcraft and the new patch looking for raid and normal um, if you guys like the video feel free to hit that thumbs up button and if you want to see more content subscribe to my youtube channel and you guys can also follow me on twitter that's where i do a lot of my social media stuff but until next time guys six out enjoy the rest of the fight and uh, we'll see you next time peace